hello everyone welcome back to another video today i'm going back to uni after christmas it's delayed by a week and a half i should have been back a week and a half ago but then the first two weeks the majority of the first two weeks of class were online and then i have a class this week which is in person um which is not so not supposed to be but this lecturer loves to dip and dive anyway my train is at half past six i have to leave the train station's like 45 minutes away um and I need to see my auntie beforehand and I need to pack. So it's currently 25 to three, so we've got plenty of time. Just packing, this is stuff to go in the little bag and then I'm just now gonna bring down a suitcase for my clothes. I've not packed at all, which is fab, fabulous. Great, great going, great organization from Megan. Okay, ignore the hair, it's an absolute state, but first I have to work out this, this is, the laundry basket of clean laundry and I need to work out what from this I need to take but I've just realised so much of Reese's clothes are in here my hair is horrific but let's anyway I'll just work, work out this laundry basket first <laughs> and figure out what I need to take so I came home for Christmas with two lots of stuff so I came home the weekend before Christmas with a big ski bag of stuff and then I came down four days later with another massive suitcase of stuff so I have to fit that double suitcase into one it's gonna go great I now need to get all of this into that sounds reasonable <laughs> two trains down and one left to go. This is the most fancy train station toilet I've ever seen. I'm gonna talk over this because someone was peeing but it was just so fancy because the cubicles actually had room for your luggage. They don't even do that in airports like that is a dream. I wish everywhere did that. I've made it back to the promised land. Jokes, jokes. I hate it here but our living room has been painted and every single door is wide open so all of that wonderful paint fumigation will have made its way to my room which the window doesn't open so that's fab um and all the lights are on so i hope that was the painter that switched them on because otherwise they've been on for months um just checking i think put a load of rugs My toilet is covered in male urine. The 
seat is up and it's covered in urine and it's not no what has happened that's probably the painter and that's vile anyway i'm just gonna go cry about that now see you later update on that yep the painter did in fact leave some kind of human waste all over my toilet and um i'm not sure if it was urine because I'm the one that had to scrub it off and it was thick. Anyway, so we contacted our landlord and the painter said to send his apologies and then showed up again a week later to do, I would never show my face again. And I think I would give a bit more than an apology. I think I'd, I don't know what I'd give my soul. I'm not sure, but it was bold of him to come back. Well, it's actually the end of my video. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.